with the others of the screen, and after a long while, this so about Finnish cinema has returned. Speaking of resurrection, it also happens to the main character of the second Finnish sci fi film ever made, Sunwind. <laughs> Released in 1980, the movie is based on the novel of the same name from 1975, written by Kullervo Kukkasjärvi. I've read about half of the original book, but then I had to return it to library. And that was over a year ago. And the director is Timo Linnasalo, who is also known for Good Day, Mr. Kivi and Eros and Psyche, and he's also one of the writers along with his regular collaborator Ilpo Tuomarila. So let's get into the film where a gravity researcher Eric Rangama, played by Pavo Piskunen, becomes the first human being to be woken up from deep freeze. Ehkä siitä vielä ihminen tulee. Interesting premise, sure, but its execution has several problems. The first is that, uh, while the movie version doesn't say it out loud, the year is supposed to be 1999. Why some sci-fi writers feel the need to put their stories so close to the present, thus making their future predictions become dated faster? In the research center, I think, Eric meets his old friend, the chief of security Fabian, played by Eric Payala, so they get drinks to talk about present and past. And about how Eric liked big tits. Mies istuu kaiket tuijuttamassa papereitaan ja käy päivisin kaupungissa katsottamassa suuria rintoja. <laughs> Eihän se sitten kauaa kestänytkään. Et sinä minua masenna. On niitä isorintaisia vieläkin. Sen puoskarinikin seurassa liikkuvat aivan kohtuulliset. Hän on vanhempi tyttäreni. Laura. After freaking out a couple of times, Eric is allowed to go to a barber shop where this happens. Eikä minun pääseni ole hilset. Tämä on harvinaisen hilset. That was a sort of movie. <laughs> Actually, I'm pulling your leg. That was a flashback to Eric's death. It just comes and goes without any warning and, in fact, during this whole movie it is never clear when everything is taking place. Other important characters are Eric's doctor Paul, played by veteran actor Antti Litia, who is kind of an asshole. <laughs> At first, at least. And his estranged researcher wife and Fabian's daughter, Laura, played by Lilka Kovanko, who is starting to have hots for our male lead. Minä akenin jo silloin. Mitä? Minä luulin, niitä painajais uniksi. Ah yes, these damn dream sequences. There are about six of them and they are all done in the same style and music. I guess they're supposed to symbolize... Um... Eric's desire for normal life? As if that needed any more emphasizing. But unknown to Eric, it was actually Laura who had him woken up in the first place. Why, you ask? Hän tietää miltä maailma nyt näyttää. No, mutta tiedämmehän me, miltä maailma hänen aikanaan näytti. Minä todellakin sanoin, miltä maailma nyt näyttää. Yeah, she wanted to conduct a philosophical experiment. Government money well spent. And that's pretty much the rest of the movie, Eric trying to find his place in this quote-unquote modern world. To be fair, the actual philosophical conversations are interesting and well worn It's just the movie often either forgets or doesn't care to tell an actual story. There are many engaging side plots that are often anticlimatically resolved, but are nonetheless interesting to follow. The most notable being about Fabian's older daughter who is suffering from plutonium poisoning. At this point you must be wondering how this sci-fi movie works as sci-fi. Well, um... 
Look at this amazing 1999 TV program! This astonishing 1999 nightclub. Yes, Anulin's future has lots of way concepts that aren't properly explained, one of the most noteworthy being frequent acid rains. Uh, look, I understand that they probably didn't have a big enough budget for outlandish sci-fi sets that you see in American movies, but uh, A Time of Roses from 11 years prior uh, was made with less gas and that managed to hide it better than this. All in all, Sunwind is a decently made and thought-provoking bundle of waste opportunities. The movies fizz out of water premise reeks potential, but the filmmakers were more interested about developing the world rather than the characters, and even in that regard the job was left unfinished. As I said before, its philosophical pondering skipped attention, and technical values and acting are competent, but Sunwind works better if you don't think it as a narrative product. Be sure to join for the next episode when I'll finally tackle with Wild North. Until then, thanks for your time. Ha 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 